Hello everybody and welcome back to the Sibling Rivalry channel. Uh, as you can see, we've got a whole bunch of Scooby-Doo Playmobil. I managed to get almost the whole collection and I'm going to give you a quick rundown and we're going to do an unboxing of the Mystery Machine. So stay tuned. So before we get around to unboxing the Mystery Machine, because that's going to be more of an in-depth sort of video, or part of the video, I just want to give a quick rundown of the figures that I managed to get out of the blind bags. And I'm going to have a, either in the comments or uh, in the description, we're going to have a list with the codes that I've compiled from some people online on Reddit and from my own uh, deep dive into the insanity that is blind bags with uh, Playmobil. And hopefully if you're looking to find certain characters or if you're missing certain characters, it'll help you find those characters without having to open the blind bags at the store. So uh, let's get started. So you'll probably remember from our previous video, I have the uh, Ghost Diver or Captain Cutler. So if you didn't know the features he comes with, he's got a little flashlight that you uh, can put in his hand. Ghost card comes with each of these figures and you can unmask him uh, in that regard, like you take his helmet off. There was a bit of trickiness with assembling him. Uh, I think I mentioned that in the previous video before you put his head in place, because these blind bag figures don't come assembled. You have to actually assemble them yourselves. Before you put his head in, you have to put this cowl, like this cowling almost right here. So let's see if we can get that up close there. Yep, so you just have to make sure you do that first, otherwise you're not going to get it, it back on it. Like, you're not, it's not going to work. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, let's do a close-up. I really like this guy. I like the character. I like the style, like the design of the character in Scooby-Doo. It's one of my favorite ghosts, other than, like, the ice cream ghost and, like, traditional ghosts. Uh, this guy actually came with Shaggy and Scooby. Scooby's done out of like a glass fiber plastic, similar to I know like the dolphins that they do for the uh, aquatic packs come in the same sort of plastic where they've got like a grain to them. It's kind of weird compared to everything else because nothing else has that sort of look to it, but I think it's fine. Um, we got the ghost here, who's just a regular ghost and He's just like a generic Playmobil dude underneath. He's not like an actual Scooby-Doo character or a particular guy. He's just like weird, funky guy with a mustache, um, which you'll probably see that face reused a few times here on certain characters. The uh, not so much Fu Manchu, but like the nice wispy handlebar mustache of sorts. So you've already seen Shaggy and Scooby. Now we've got what is known in the cartoon as the Indian Witch Doctor, not to be confused with the other Witch Doctor, who I'm actually hopefully going to get later today. Um, I wound up with a couple extra characters I thought I had. I kind of did my homework and felt around the bags. Uh, yeah, so I missed out on the actual Witch Doctor, so that's the one that's missing here. But the Indian Witch Doctor, he's got a little pouch that goes on the back. Uh, he's got a hatchet. And there's that mustachioed face again in all its glory. Uh, the face is actually a sticker that you had to apply, and it's a little tricky to get it perfectly aligned if you're one of those people who fixates on that, like me. But yeah, a pretty simple character. Oh, and his body was kind of weird. His legs, like this waist belt, is a separate thing and his body uh, is much slimmer and like uniform than the standard figures. So yeah, that was interesting. Um, you'll see what I mean if you uh, get this guy. Now we've got what is known as the Chinese ghost. He's got a nice spear, double injection molded from the looks of it. Uh, interesting thing with him, and you see this on some of the other figures, you can pop their head off or like their hair off and then twist their face around to unmask them. So I thought that was pretty clever. 
and they've got a notch in the front and the back so that you can put the hair on either way. So you could have him unmasked with the hair or headpiece on or vice versa. Helps if you assemble them correctly and don't have everything kind of sitting around in a weird spot. But yeah, so. Uh, interesting with him, his legs were actually two parts. He's got like a, a skirt almost. Um, and his legs are a separate part that goes inside of there. So I thought that was interesting. Now we've got the evil clown. And uh, yeah, he's got a balloon. I actually wound up with a bunch of spare parts for a bunch of these. They, I guess, messed up in the assembly. Same thing here. The uh, face comes off and you can unmask him, make him a little less of an alarming terror clown. If you can get the hair back on, that is. And his suit actually comes off. Not so much for any real purpose of like removing his disguise, but just for the sake of now it gives him like a different shape. His shoes also come off as well. Let's see if we can get these off without like destroying everything. Uh, they're on there pretty snug. I'm not gonna try and take them off. I might break them. Um, if you take off his suit, then the shoes should be easier to come off, but they're just kind of parts that slip over his regular feet. Now we've got the Black Knight. And I jokingly said to Val, he looks like Harry Potter under the helmet because lo and behold, circle frame glasses and uh, black hair. All he's missing is a scar. And I'm pretty sure there was a scene or something in Harry Potter where he ends up in a suit of armor. I don't know, I that, got that image stuck in my head somehow. Um, but yeah, so there's the Black Knight. Pretty simple. Uh, his armor, like his chest plate comes off, but uh, yeah, pretty uh, pretty ordinary. Here is Carlota, the gypsy, which I know is a slur, but that's what she's called in the show. So again, Face turns around, so same deal here. And a part that I actually kind of liked was that the hair and the hat, or like the shawl, or whatever you want to call it, hair wrap, are actually two separate things. So that's kind of a neat uh, little whatever detail, I guess. And she comes with a crystal ball, cape comes off, yeah. Minor 49er, he, uh, his beard comes off. Let's see if we can actually get that off without just like mangling him horribly. Uh, hat comes off of the hair. It's pretty ordinary, like he just kind of looks like a regular prospector, but I mean, so does the minor 49er in the show. Here is the creep, or the creeper. He's got And again, hair comes off. It's actually double injection molded, which is a nice touch. The skin is painted on, but the eyes are actually injection molded, which you can see in there. And that's the same sort of thing with a lot of these double face ones. The monster face is painted on but the human face is just kind of uh, injection molded into the plastic, which makes sense because that's simple. Uh, now we've got the headless horseman. He comes with a whip or riding crop, gloves that come off. And of course I say gloves come off and then I can't take the gloves off. There we go. You can see the gloves come off and the cape comes off and the pumpkin comes off and you can actually take the pumpkin apart I think it's not really meant to come apart like on purpose but it's two parts so you can take it apart if you really want to but yeah it's kind of cool I wish that the like the pumpkin part sat a little lower because it's kind of apparent that he's just got a human head underneath but 
no real complaints here. Now we've got the space kook, which you might know from the opening credits. So the dome comes off, you can see him underneath, and the suit actually comes off. But the thing is, it comes with rubber bands to help hold the suit on. So they go on his legs, you might be able to see them there. Uh, he comes with the claw. He's just wearing like a green uh, button-up shirt underneath. He's got some stubble, looks angry, mostly because of the eyebrows. And the, uh, the dome actually rotates on there. So, nice little feature. And we've got the Abominable Snowman, or the Yeti, or the Snow Ghost. And similar to the clown, actually I think it's the same mold as the clown. He's got a suit that comes off. He's just kind of a rotunda guy underneath, which is kind of a nice feature. Myself being a little on the rotund side, it's nice to see some uh, representation in my consumed media. Gloves come off. A feature I would have liked would have been for the hands to match the gloves, or like to not match the gloves, or at least with the, uh, I almost said Abominable Snowman. Headless Horseman, <laughs> Horseman, uh, if his hands were white to match his gloves. Kind of some consistency in there, but I guess that's kind of Scooby-Doo. There's not really a lot of consistency, especially in the old cartoons. And he comes with an ice crystal here. So, yeah. Welcome back. So, we've tidied off the table, and I'm going to get started on the mystery machine here. So, it looks like... It's uh, like a tearaway box in a few spots. You tear away a few spots and then the box kind of hinges open. So we're going to see if that actually works or if I just end up cursing and swearing and tearing the box apart. Some assembly required. So there's our figures. They are pretty much assembled other than uh, they're kind of, well, Daphne and Velma are in their underwear. Um, accessories. The front hood of the mystery machine. The tires, which are nice and rubbery. Oh, that's fun. the mystery machine itself with the roof. Nice. Oh, there is the uh, computer. And here's some stickers and some other bits and bobs. So I'll take the box and I'm just gonna set this under the table. Val has been kind enough to grab me a battery. So, there you have it. We've got a mystery machine, a machine of mysteries. You can see in the back here, there's a Scooby, there's a Shaggy, there's a Velma. And in the front, we got Freddy and Daphne. So, I might install some lighting in here at some point. Hmm? <laughs> and some shag carpet, I don't know. Did the mystery machine have shag carpet? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. And yeah, I think this is a really cool kit. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna put on the, the trailer hitch, but maybe you can get like another kit or something, pulling a horse. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let us know what you think in the comments down below. If you like the video, please uh, give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. It lets us know how we're doing. We can gauge stuff based on that. Um, if you didn't like it, give us a thumbs down. We need reactions to know what you guys like. And if you want to see more of this, make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any future content. If this isn't up your alley, don't worry. We've got all sorts of other content coming your way soon. We've got some sewing tutorials. 
Uh, we've got some 3D printing tutorials, and we're gonna do some more keyboard stuff. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you've rung the bell for notifications. And until then, stay safe, wash your hands, and I hope you have a great day. And I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you dastardly kids. <laughs> Is it manslaughter if he's already dead?